first training camp. Now let's see what O'Brien and the Jet offense can do. They trail 26-19 to the Bengals. First down and 10. Freeman McNeil as the Bengal defenders converge and shut off all lanes inside. At 154 yards last week against Kansas City did Freeman McNeil. So they've been keying on him. Here's a throw and a catch. Nicely done for a Jet first down out to the 21-yard line. Al Toon catch. Right in now. Billy Griggs goes in motion to lead the blocking as Roger Vick carries for the Jets. And on first down, he runs it out to the... They don't get down when things go wrong. They do come back. Here's a throw and a catch. Perfectly done by O'Brien. Blue pattern as Vick comes out of the back of the head for the Cincinnati team. The real Bengal Tigers. Back in their cages. They're getting worked up by this crowd. Here is a free ball indeed at the 40-yard line. Lone wide receiver set to the lower left-hand portion of your screen. He goes in motion. O'Brien loses the ball. As Pro Cop elected to go to the sideline and gets it out of bounds at the 40. So the Bengals with a seven point lead go on offense when we come back. Zayas stands in, throws a strike. One of the tight ends, Bumble. Jim Riggs, comes up with the ball. It was fumbled out of bounds by Cincinnati. Now here's a straight on stick by Marty Lyons, who's having one of his best years. The 10 year veteran who was drafted in the first round out of Alabama. A warrior. Come back from a couple of surgeries. We got word that Alex Gordon has leg cramps. Alex Gordon, a big part of that jet defense, him being out, gets trailing 26-19 now, really hurts the Jets' chances. This is where they need his blitzing. coming up. Straight ahead run, Woods. There is really a hard running back. A straight up back takes those hits like Earl Campbell used to and people just bounce off him. Good job by the offensive line spreading out that defense and then watch this hit that Woods takes and still needs another five yards. Flags. Defense tried to get on. Ball was dropped by Eddie Brown as the Bengals tried to burn the Jets. Going into alignment without the huddle again on third and one. Brown has caught two touchdown passes today. Had the ball right on his hands. The Jet defender able to get him by the arm and knock it three months. Now at third and one, they've been so tough on third down conversions. As you see, they've converted six of seven for first downs. Icky Woods, that big rookie runner, gets the ball, and he is going to be stopped by the Jets. Oh. Jets were reading 31 right from the outset. Coming up to make the hit on the play was Gerald. Came back to coach in 88. Everybody thought he was gone after a 4-11 season. Now he has the winningest team in the league through five weeks, and he has a first down also. As that offensive front of the Cincinnati Bengals splits the Jet defensive front, and Icky Woods takes it ahead for a first down. Guy who likes magic. His one sole source of relaxation, flying. In the offseason, we'll fly to South. Hope he's not doing that when he's flying. No, no, no. Zayasin loops the ball out, but Eddie Brown can't hold out at the 23-yard line of the Jets. Well, for the Bengals into the first half. Third and ten. Zayasin is an expert at offensive line blocking. He watches game films with his offensive linemen. I don't want to watch that one because he was almost sacked. Was I believe? Is that right? First punt of the day. Full hay hits it high. JoJo Towns that'll let it bounce. Wow. Two yard line. The ball took a Bengal hop out of the line in deep trouble. O'Brien throws in his end zone going for two and it looked like he might have been interfered with but no flag and the official was right on the play. Both it was ruled we're going for the ball. Dan Seiko has hit one out at Oakland. Sweep coming this way. McNeil dives out to the five yard line very close to a late hit. And like sure in situations like this the tight end of line nearest to you. Here's a throw. 
and a drop at the 10 yard line he went to Al Toon who could not hold on so the Jets have to four and down three games to none Hayes won 104 regular season games Red Sox 189 I guess Oakland came in as the better team Woods breaks it they go to the fullback again and he takes it straight at the Jet defense on Alex Gordon's playing also for the Jets in their defensive alignment the former Steeler member of two Super Bowl championship teams there Parker's down as Woods runs hard again and gets the ball inside the 30 yard line I don't know who they're going to call that on that might be on the offense or the defense today weird game absolutely a weird game lead it 26 19 game was tied at the half 12 all we have 138 to play in the third quarter nobody to throw it to yeah there is Eddie Brown but it turns off his numbers again so Eddie Brown who had some sensational play at times sprint rollout he's got to hurry Loop pass downfield, and the ball is tipped away by Humphreys. Broken up about five passes today, and there's a marker down the AFC Central. The Buffalo lost today to Indianapolis, and the Jets won. They'd go into first place in the AFC East. Ken O'Brien on second down and three for the Jets from his 23-yard line. He's banked third downs. They're three of 12 on third downs. And they came in leading the conference in that department. Here's a pitch back to Freeman McNeil as the Jets trail by seven. On third and short, the Jets go to the run on the pitch back and Freeman McNeil. Just starting the fourth quarter. Don Cricky with Bob Trumpy. Quick out thrown to Al Toon and he's out to the 36-yard line. That takes a very... Leads more like Gandhi. Mahatma. Here's a handoff straight up the middle on second and short and knocked down to the 35-yard line. Very big play here as they trail early in the fourth quarter by seven to the Bengals. They need four. They get it. Mickey Schuler. Schuler with five catches today. Four catches for 41 yards. Long ball. The coverage is there. And O'Brien puts it up out of reach of the defenders. And he flipped it to Al Toon, who was out with an injury that game. And Al Toon's my man. He gave him the ball. Here's a straight ahead stop drives. Jets need to take it down and in to tie this game. Oh. Our formation like they're going to run on second down, and they do not. They play fake, and here's the home run ball. Al Toon is out there. What a throw, and what a defensive play. David Fulcher, the strong safety who the Jets were hoping to isolate because they didn't think he could cover deep. Makes the recovery. That ball was six all the way. Toon was running, and the ball was right in sync. But Fulcher dives in and knocks it away. See, it's zone. Phillips gives up the coverage. Toon running by himself. Fulcher looks back at the last second. Right into that gloved hand. And Toon is saying, oh, man, you've got to be kidding. One of the few times the Jets have tried to go deep, excellent coverage prevents the touchdown. down third down and a long five here's a throw and a knockdown made by Lewis Phillips they went to the tight end Schuler and they couldn't get it done 26 19 Cincinnati in the lead 10 55 to play in the game Eddie Brown has two touchdown catches today Overtown Eddie Brown they call him Miami comes from one of the toughest parts of any town in America and he's been a New York Jets Zayasen, who's been very, very effective all day, particularly on first down, is again as he's on the run for a first down out to the 25-yard line. Rich Miano, one of the jet safeties, knocked him down. There was nobody to throw to. Woods runs as the Bengals look to run down the... The Jets need one right here. Safety blitz. Miano's picked up. As Zayasen rolls out, throws the ball to Brown. He's knocked out of bounds as... A very aggressive Jet defender. Third and five it is for the Bengals at their 29-yard line. Zayas in very confident throws. Good. Holding defense, him. number 22, five-yard penalty. going to give it to the free First safety, down. Eric McMillan. But it was a Jet foul, and it is a Cincinnati first down. I think the officials had their choice. 
Boomer Esiason threw for 179 yards. Trump in the first half, only 41 yards so far in the second half. Jet coverage has been a lot better. The pressure has not been there, but they've covered the receivers down the field, so he scrambled and gotten sacked a couple of times. Woods. He is alone. Icky Woods, uh, 200. He trumps over 100, huh? 20 carries, 102 yards. Second and three. Nias a little deep. Eddie Brown running free, and a terrific defensive play by Eric McMillan. Up. And again, powering behind Joe Walter, a 290-pound tackle, and Nichols go to the run. Icky Woods, the carrier, and it's a first down Cincinnati. Jets fighting to get the ball back. They trail 26-19. The game was tied 12 all at the head. Joined us late. Jets jumped out to a 9-0 lead. First points and a safety. Bengals came back. Bengals went out in front. 19-12. Jets tied it. Bengals have since gone ahead 26-19. Stick and a stop. Right. At least distracted, playing very well so far this year. Second down and about 12, and Esiason again escapes the rush. Up taking Boomer Esiason on the run, and he hits for the 12th man and gets out of bounds without harm. But he has a huge gain, and a Cincinnati like this, it puts more pressure on the defensive backs to extend their coverage. And then when you can run like this, this is a 24-yard pickup. Boomer's big enough that he, that he doesn't look like a normal quarterback, and that is looking for the seam in the carpet, you know, diving around. He goes out there with a certain amount of authority when he runs. 51 yards. He's the second leading rush, 61 yards, the second leading rusher for the Bengals in the game. And no defense has a man assigned to the quarterback for the run. That's been quite apparent, and as Iasin has capitalized with 6-11 to play in the game, hands up to Wood. Bengals with the ball on a 26-19 lead on the Jets. comes up top, makes a hard shoulder strike. Short yardage and goal line situations. James Brooks gets hurt. And Woods is getting as much action today as he got at UNLV in college. He's not used to carrying the ball 22, 23 times. This is the 12th play of this drive. And it's using a lot of time. Another big hit. Scott Mercero, the nose tackle, made the stop, number 94, along with Kyle Clifton, the inside backer. That was on a third and short play. Let's see where they mark the ball. The Bengals get another first down. You can see how tired it Woods is. Hands on hips. They're short. Fourth and a, fourth and a yard. They're going to go for it. Brian Plato, 74, comes in. They'll have a couple of offensive linemen who are eligible receivers. You give it to Woods again here, as tired as he looks. Look at him in the huddle, 31. Hands on hips. I think you give it to him. He didn't look too tired when he's running with it. Uh, it looks like uh, calling a timeout. Siason's calling a timeout here. It's agonizing over this decision to go for it or not on fourth down. Last year, playing the Jets, Rich Miano blocked the field goal, picked it up, ran it in for a touchdown. The Jets turned the game around. Last week, Joe Walton had a tough choice. Ran one extra play, trying to get a field goal to win. It's fumbled by Freeman McNeil. Bengals going for it. Fourth down on the yard for the Cincinnati Bengals. The pitch back goes, and running with the ball and getting the first down is Stanley Wilson, who's just used for that play. He's been playing with a bad back. He gives them more outside speed, normally a starter. And Wilson gets wide, a running back from Oakland, as he gets the big blocking again from his front wall. Game clock a ticking down to 315. Turning wide is Icky Woods. Gets hit him, knocking out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Jets were lucky they, they're, they only... Bengals look to extend their streak if they keep it going today at New England next Sunday. Icky Woods breaks the crust and nails the lid down. In all probability, 3.02 left to play. And the Bengals offensive front busts open the Jet defense. Hit 
stands will be on sale tomorrow in a lot of local outlets. Dickie Woods, 134 yards rushing, two touchdowns. That was a 17-yard bust up the middle. The extra point is driven through by Jim Breach. 3.02 left to play, and the Bengals have taken command 33-19. Shortly, those of you in Denver, Miami, and Pittsburgh will be leaving us to watch your game. We'll keep you informed of this game throughout the rest of the afternoon on NFL Live. The Bengals heading to win number six in a row. They've not done that the outset of the season in 13 years. Iron deep. Let's look at this touchdown again, Don. This is decent blocking by Cincinnati, but this is very poor tackling by the Jets. McMillan and Kyle Clifton. Now, Ricky Woods is good. He ain't that good. That was arm tackling attempted by Kyle Clifton, and he runs right through it. Jets came into the game today allowing opponents 95 yards rushing as a team. Ricky Woods has 134 yards by himself. Cincinnati with over 400 yards offense. The Jets with 220. Here's a throw, an incomplete ball. Schuler covered very well by Eric Thomas, the second-year cornerback from Tulane, number 22. Ball Three ball. Ball. Bengals. number 27 comes up with the ball and this team that was receiving standing choruses of boos here in Riverfront Stadium a season ago has been getting standing salutes all day. Pressure by the Bengals defensive line. It's Tim Crumry who basically knocks the ball out of O'Brien's hand. Bussey with the recovery. That's the first turnover of the day by the Jets. Watch when he puts his arm over the top. we got a flag here. Unsportsmanlike conduct New York, against the Jets. Number 82. He will penalize half the distance to the goal. They still amass those numbers and 33 points. The extra, Albert Icky Woods. Down to the 10 yard line, but right now they're looking to wind the clock down. It'll tick down to the two minute warning shortly. Last week. Go to the run, looking to run out the clock as it kicks down now inside of two minutes to play. This team is good. This, this offense, now you, something we haven't pointed out in a while, probably the most valuable offensive player after his eyes and Brooks has been out the whole game. James Brooks, who has rushed for a 5.5 per carry average this season, has caught three touchdown passes. He's out with a bad hand. But still, they roll up 33 points in a team that's given up only 12 a game this year. They could get more of it were it not. I think there are more fans in disbelief in this stadium than in celebration. Well, you played 10 years for the Bengals. Went to the Pro Bowl four times. Brian looks into the end zone. Let's her rip. Incomplete. As time runs out. So the Bengals' comeback story continues. As their fans stand in celebration, the Cincinnati Bengals extend their extraordinary start in 1988 to 6-0. Heading to New England next week to go against the Patriots. Coach Joe Walton whose team is now 3-2-1, and, and that's a great comeback story in itself, goes over to congratulate Sam White. We'll be back in a moment.